And it's estimated that about 13 million men have low testosterone uh, in the U.S. right now. But only about 10% of those men are actually diagnosed and even fewer are treated. Well, what is testosterone control? What's the big deal? First of all, it controls energy level. You know, how, how much zip and how much get and go you have. And indeed, some of the screening questions that you were asked on typical testosterone screening questionnaires, are you falling asleep after dinner? You know, immediately pass out watching TV in the evening? Are you taking frequent naps? You know, this kind of thing. Sex drive, okay? So any man who has low testosterone the number of sexual thoughts, fantasies, desires that he will have decreases, period. And if you increase testosterone, sex drive returns to normal. Morning erections. It's actually one of the more sensitive indicators that the testosterone is doing something. So guys who come in who may not feel low energy, if I give them testosterone, all of a sudden they start noticing more morning erections. So in my clinic, that seems to be the most powerful predictor of things. Sperm production. Okay, so if you are a young man trying to have children, if you don't have normal testosterone levels, you won't make sperm like you should. Muscle mass. So if you go to the gym and you lift weights, you destroy muscle tissue, that's what you're doing by lifting weights, and then testosterone is the signal that tells the body to build it back stronger. Thinking. Guys who have profoundly low testosterone levels, they claim that they're foggy. Okay, they don't feel right, they don't like their cognition or the way they are able to analyze problems, somehow is different. All right, so why would exercise matter for testosterone? Well, it's really important, okay? It involves diet as well. So our body changes as we age. There's the statue of David. That's when you're young and your testosterone levels are normal. After a few Big Macs, uh, David becomes less you know, perfect in the eyes of the Renaissance uh, artists. And then as you go even further, <laughs> what happens is that in the fat tissue, testosterone gets converted irreversibly into estrogen. So the more obese you are, all your testosterone that your testicles manage to make essentially gets converted to estrogen. And it ain't gonna help you if you're trying to, you know, exercise, gain muscle mass, feel well. So, Pretty easy to diagnose. Uh, do a blood test and we uh, have you fill out some questionnaires, have you answer some questions. Now, how do we fix it? Well, we give you testosterone. Okay. So here are basically the three options on the market right now. Number one, injections. You get a shot in your arm or your butt once every two weeks. That's it. Gels, okay, so these are very popular as well. You apply it somewhere on your body. It's testosterone that's going across the skin and uh, that gives your testosterone back. Those you need to put on daily. And then finally, there's something called Testapel, uh, which is a long-acting testosterone. And you put a bunch of pellets underneath the skin uh, and it works pretty well too. So all three of these things work. And then what are the risks of getting testosterone? Well, they're pretty low actually. Uh, we don't want to give testosterone if you have active breast cancer. It's pretty rare in men. Um, we have to watch out for your blood count because testosterone revs up all these systems and sometimes it increases the number of red blood cells you produce. So we watch out for your hematocrit. You see how much blood you have. And then if you have problems with sleep apnea, prostate cancer, problems with urination, we monitor you a little bit more closely. So, uh, Above age 45, about 40% 40 of all men can have low testosterone. It's often confused with depression or normal aging. So if you take testosterone away from somebody, for somebody for 10 years, you have a 44% increase in diabetes and a 16% increase in coronary artery disease. That's death or myocardial infarction. Low testosterone equals more heart attacks, diabetes, obesity. Lifestyle modification. You can all control your testosterone pretty effectively. If you eat well, exercise, cut weight, lower your waist size, your normal testosterone levels, your testosterone levels will go up. It's also healthy, right? And then it's also easily tested for and treated uh, with testosterone replacement.